Hey guys, Ral Gore here. Um, so a couple people in my guild have been asking about um, weak ores updates. So I just wanted to talk about that for a second. There's a lot of really good um, YouTube videos already out there, um, but they're just kind of long. So I just wanted to do something very simple and fast, uh, kind of explaining it uh, just very right to the point. So let's, uh, let's get started here. So first thing you wanna do is uh, open your browser and you wanna get the desktop client to automate everything. So go over to wago.io, scroll down to Weak Aura's companion right there, click there. Uh, you're gonna download the desktop client for your operating system, okay? So after you get it downloaded and installed, uh, you can open up the client here and uh, make sure you have the Weak Aura's add-on, of course. Uh, make sure you're on whatever version you need. Uh, for me, that's gonna be retail. Go over to settings, make sure that uh, it found the folder correctly. Uh, for me, it's my, my program files drive, World of Warcraft. And then I'm going to fetch updates. Okay, so it found two updates, uh, one for this interrupt tra tracker and another huge one for this uh, Nihiloth Nihilo of the Waking City, right? It's a huge, huge weak ore pack. These are the ones that it's going to be updating. Um, I happen to know over the course of that entire tier, there were 125 updates to that weak ore pack. So this, that's kind of the power of this, um, companion app is it will keep things up to date when there are so many updates being pushed through, right? And we're about to start a new tier. So can be very useful. So you're going to go in game here and you're going to, none of those updates will show up until you slash reload. So you need to slash reload. I've already done that. So because I've already done that, I'm going to go open my weak ores window slash WA. And here we are. Here are the two updates right there. So I'm going to click this and I changed the default position of this. Like I moved it around a little bit and everything else you need to keep selected, right? Or it can break, could break the add on. I do not want to create a copy. I want to go to update auras, right? If you create a copy, it's going to make an old, it's going to make the updated version and you're still going to have the old version. So you want to update, apply the update. So click there, may leave everything checked. You could uh, uncheck size and position if you like. Update it and it's going to automate everything. It's updating the entire pack. Give it a few seconds to load because that's quite a big pack. And uh, boom, there you are, ready to go. This is a much smaller one, this interrupt tracker. I click right there. Uh, update Aura, I don't want to create a copy. Yes, 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 here we go, import as update. Boom, scroll through, I'm good to go. Good to go, slash reload. And let's look at my uh, companion app. As soon as I reload here, I'm gonna be able to go to the companion app here, uh, fetch updates, and now everything is up to date. Excellent, thank you guys so much, and uh, have a good day, and hit me up if you have any questions, thanks.